All right, Travis with mowers going wild. So I had to redo the entire ignition setup on this. This is the stock Predator 670 box. What I did is I actually took the key right out of it. I thought about using a stock lawnmower one. I decided to go against it. What I did is I actually wired up a push button in there to simulate uh, when you turn the key all the way over. And then I have a toggle switch right here that I plan to mount in there that will simulate the key being turned into the on position and then obviously when you flip it over that'll be the off and then my tether is also wired up into the key for being the shut off so uh, there will be two ways to shut the mower off I plan to try to get this all trimmed back up and back in here so it will fit nicely in there um, I'll try to explain this the best I can of what I did so the white wire that actually comes off uh, that is a hot wire for more or less the ignition itself that has to actually go with the yellow wire out of the ignition uh, to simulate the the key on so again that would be the white and the yellow and then also there's two whites that go to that key the the original stock key and the other white has to go with the black and white to simulate the starter so again that's leaving everything stock and just wiring it up so the the other white so the white has to go to white and yellow to be for the on position and then also you need to have the white go to the black and white and that again i have for my push button so when i click that on it will turn the motor over so as long as everything is flipped on the way it needs to be the tethers engaged that when i hit that button the motor should fire so i'm going to be able to get that all wired back up in there um, oh, and also it would have been the black and red wire in there that would be a kill wire for inside the motor. I'm not exactly sure. I'm guessing for the electronic, uh, um, the electronic kill switch on the carburetor, but don't quote me on that. I just know that this is a, a kill wire for it. This is when, for when it's in the off position. Um, and then obviously there's a, a black ground in there that goes up here as well. So that's pretty much everything that was in there i used the stock hole for the key for the push button um, so i'm really hoping this actually goes all nice together back in there to try to keep that look of what i've had for this entire build so again i'm extremely happy with the way this thing's turning out just can't wait to get it back on the ground and really see what this thing will do it's a train wreck in here with tools all over the place right now mud keeps dropping as i'm working on it but it's getting closer and closer so um uh, appreciate you guys watching uh feel free to uh, like this video if you would and uh give us a subscribe you know we would love to be able to keep growing this channel and be able to keep helping people with the 670s if they have any questions um, i'm learning as i go i've had it on here now just about a, over a year now so i've learned a lot with it it's been really dependable mine's completely bone stock hope one day to be able to get some modifications to it but you know what the thing has plenty of power the way it is so uh again any questions feel free to reach out to us uh give us a like and subscribe thank you all right so earlier i showed how i did all the wiring and everything was all conjumbled and but what wires went to what now i kind of want to show the the final product of the way i was able to make it look so that way if you want to do something like this on your own builds uh, on any 670 um, predator motor uh, again i really i hated the key i was having issues with it from the very get-go so what i do is i have this for being more or less turning the key on position and then this that turns it over and again i don't i don't have a i use choke by hand so i won't be able to get the fire rate the second well maybe let's see we'll try to give it a little bit So that's with everything running, again, on position this, if I flick this off, it will stop getting gas. Sorry, my hood's not holding mounted yet. It will shut the fuel off. So what I did is I run the other kill to my tether. So now if I press that, it will just shut the motor right off. Otherwise, again, this will cut it off as well. So um, I'm, I'm really happy with it. It still gives its clean look. Um, and then I still get my functioning tether uh, for safety for when I'm racing, trailing, whatever else. If I get bucked off this thing like I had before, it just helps. So, and this is about what the look is going to be with the hood. And it's about where the position will be. I just got to get everything else mocked up. I need to get another uh, tiger eye on there as well.
but yeah i'm again i'm really really happy with the way this thing's turning out it's been running phenomenal since the the tires and everything have been on there um i haven't really been able to tell how much faster it is i i don't feel i've been asked if i've had to change the gearing i looked it up today it's a 48 tooth in the back and i believe it's 11 or a 12 tooth in the front um, I didn't count them, but I know it's a smaller sprocket in the front that's running off the 40 series torque converter. So uh, that's kind of this. So that's uh, it's kind of the gist of it. Again, I was able to keep everything all nice in the box, put it all back in there, all the wiring, um, and been able to keep it to be as clean as possible. So she's more or less ready to just push button and go. Um, Got to get the hood finished and mounted. Uh, I do have the sleeve since I did nicer, bigger bearings in the back. The original sleeves that go from the bearing to the hub that just kind of help keep everything solid for when you castle nut it down. Um, I got them off, so I need to cut them to size and get them back on before I start running it. I got a little bit more play in the tire than I would like. Um, but yeah, so I mean, this the list is very, very small on what still needs to be done on this thing. Again, you can kind of see the, the front look. I got a little bit of chamber. Um, I think one wheel is towed out just a tad bit more. Uh, I can, you know, make some adjustments on the tie rod. But honestly, this thing is tracking so well, I'm not too worried about it. So um, it has a really cool look to it, to my personal opinion. It's about everything that I ever wanted and more. Uh, I know a lot of you guys said to, you know, put all this into a, a bigger, more heavy-duty mower. But to me, this thing is plenty heavy-duty for my size. You know, I'm 5'7", like 150 pounds. This thing is perfect for me. I fit it really well. Um, you know, the whole frame has been gone through and, uh, strengthened by, again, Ed, uh, Matt's helped me a ton. Um, you know, I mean, uh, Tater Tom, our machinist that lives down the road. I mean, I've had a lot of, a lot of help. I mean, it's been a lot of my ideas that's gone into it, but I've, I've had help along the way, you know, that that's helped make this the way it is. And I got them to thank for it. It's obviously the Tiger King, uh, the theme, I'm never going to financially recover from this. My favorite sticker. I needed that. Um, so, yeah, that's well, that's the build, though. That's the, I named her Predator, obviously named after the motor. And just I knew the kind of look of it. I thought Predator would be a fitting name for this tractor. Um, I've been extremely impressed with how it handles and drives, especially since these bigger tires. This time last year, I was drifting around everywhere. It didn't want to turn. It it, uh, it just was sloppy out on the track in the snow and ice. And this thing just drove like a champ yesterday when I finally got to drive it. And it handled the corners just fine. As you've seen, one of them speed runs, I think I got it up to almost 25 miles an hour. I was hitting the corners about 20 miles an hour. So, I mean, that's, that's about what I can do even in the grass. So I'm kind of curious if it's going to uh, stay down and less tippy even uh, in come the race time that I can actually hold the corners at uh, even better speed. So we'll see. Um, we'll kind of see how this thing goes. I don't plan any more changes to it i'm going to leave the motor all stock for now you know uh, bleed the brakes and get the hood right where it needs to get and uh, just just have fun with it this year i hope i'm not going to be chasing problems i got so many other things that's going to be going on with the kid and everything i want to get tater tot up here and get that fixed soon um we got some cool relay race ideas that we're thinking with our 15 mile an hour mowers with uh, some close friends um, just to just have some fun, you know, laid back more this year. No stress. Um, we're not going to have all the trek prep, uh, prep or anything. You know, we can just, just have fun, go trailing, you know. Um, let us know if you guys have events. Uh, we're thinking more about traveling and doing other people's events if we could fit in our schedule uh, between obviously me having the baby and everything and with Matt and mine work schedule. Um, we want to go do some trail riding. Uh, you know, if someone has a little race thing they're going to put together, kind of like what we do here. Um, we might be off to, to come out and check that out. It's a little easier for us to go somewhere else and spend that whole week or two prepping and getting everything ready uh, for a race for here, which we're just we're not doing this year. Um, like I said, we're going to do small things, more or less invite only. Um, it's n no offense to anyone. It's just with this year, with uh, the kid and everything, um, we, we just want to slow down, uh, but also still go have a lot of fun. Um, like I said, hopefully make it out to West Branch and see the, the mowers, um, mud mowers from hell and everyone up there. Um, go ride where they ride. So uh, just, yeah, let us know if you guys got something going on. Feel free to invite us and we'll see if we can do it. But uh, thank you guys for watching this. Um, these videos are going to be coming out. This one's more just a tutorial uh, for the wiring on the 670. So it's going to have its own little video on there. Um, I covered the chain drive and that's going to be going up later today. 
Um, so yeah, I hope that you guys uh, enjoyed this and uh, hopefully you guys learned something. If not, um, you at least know a little bit more about us here at uh, Mowers Gone Wild. I'm Travis. I always kind of be the one that's behind the camera and everything. Um, anyone that has asked before, we do run uh, now GoPro 7 Blacks. Absolutely love them. Hope to get another GoPro this year to have three of them. One for the Chase Quad or when I have buddies come out and trail with us. So that way I can get as much footage as possible because I hate stopping and trying to video stuff. I just want to be able to have it on us catch it as we go and just have fun and hopefully we got it if not we just had a fun day but i'd love to be able to share it and regardless it's fun video editing and everything else too so thank you guys for watching we're almost 300 subscribers it's absolutely amazing um what we've just been uh seeing in just the last uh, pretty much month or so so thank you guys